welcome to a brand new episode of the Wooly Thistle Shopcast. I believe we're on episode 191, which mm -hmm. is hard to believe, cruising right along to 200. I'm Corrine, your host, and this is Maggie, our co-host and Wooly person extraordinaire. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah? I'm doing good. What's new yeah. with you? What's new with me? Yeah. Um, You've got a daughter off at college. I've got a daughter off at college who this week is home for spring break, yeah. uh, which is lovely. And... Um, yeah, other than that, not, not knitting really a whole lot new. Got some knitting. knitting. I feel like I'm getting my mojo back, which is good. really good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. We all go through that dark sort of. So long as we can find the other side, it's yeah. all good. All right. Well, let's tell you what's in the show today. We have Caitlin with us this week, and she is talking about uh, Hohi Locatelli sweater. It's called uh, Super, Super Simple Summer. Summer Sweater, I think. I could be wrong. And it was written for Mungo mm -hmm. and Rachel's Aria. So she's yeah. talking about that. And we have Rachel with an update after her last video, which was a couple of weeks ago now. Mm -hmm. Such an outpouring of love and concern for Rachel. So we have a wonderful um, postcard from her following up on that. We have lots to talk about there. Yes. And uh, actually, should we just talk about Rachel and, and what she's doing? Or should we save that for later? Um, I think we should save it. Okay. Um, All right. So, yeah. Maggie, just, what... Just know that the info you're looking for is coming up. It is. It's coming up. you got to watch. <laughs> 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 Tell us what you're wearing, Maggie. Um, I'm wearing, for a sweater, I'm wearing my Felix um, Pullover by Patterns by Amy Christoffers um, in Let Lopey. Yes. And I also finished my Hooray! tapestry coat, oh, which I so don't think good. I wore it on the Facebook Live, but I hadn't haven't worn it on the shop cast. It's so, so good. Do you like it? I love it. I yeah. love it. Um, I as you can see, I went, I, I just pivoted <laughs> and went with the one loop, the single loop, and yeah. made it a Mobius. Yeah. Um, and how did you finish? Uh, the, how did you bring it together? Um, I did a three needle bind off. Yeah. Um, and you can oh, see lovely. there's like a stripe there. That's nice though. It's like a design element, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, and I did not I had yeah. yeah. So it it's it goes all the way around. I've still always got. I'm that. having a moment with my ends. <laughs> I'm usually really good about weaving them in, and I don't know what's going on lately. But I just kind of finished. There's the always project. one hanging out. There, there really yeah. is. The the hats I've been knitting. Just not gotten there yet. Yeah. I'll, I'll leave them in eventually. I'm not anti yeah. leaving in ends. I just can't be bothered at the yeah. moment. <laughs> and you're wearing the Felix sweater, as you said, which is lovely and knitted yes. in let lopey. Yeah, because spring is coming soon. So any chance to wear my lopey, and I'm wearing my lopey. Yes. And did we say this is the tapestry cowl, which I designed, mm -hmm. and it's in Jameson and Smith two ply? Yeah. So the you wrote the pattern with fennel garn, but um, that's true. I used color 81 and FC 51 and JNS and. Um, it's been lovely it. seeing you wearing it as much as you are. Is don't these just sit around your neck and just you know they're no bother at all? They do, and I tend to always run a little cold, so mm. it's nice. It actually does keep you quite a bit warmer. Yeah, and it's yeah. Just, just nice and cozy. And I did block it. Um, I don't have any problem wearing JNS against Me my neck. Me neither. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, this too is Jameson and Smith uh, to play jump away, and this is Donna Smith's design called the Fula Snood. It was in one of the um, Shetland Wool Week, the mm -hmm. girl with the yellow jumper on the front, the sweater on the front. Mm -hmm. um, so it was in there, but I think it's also uh, sold separately on Ravelry by Donna. Mm -hmm. So you can get this. And I just did the exact thing that it called for, the colors and everything. And this is one of my most worn ever pieces because it does, it just keeps, it stays in place. It's not falling off. And um, I think it looks nice too. Yeah, and um, we do have yarn sets in the shop for the full listening. We do, and we do have yarn sets or kits for the tapestry cow and for the um, yeah the Felix, the Felix, both in a cardigan, and then the sweater like you've got. Yeah, yeah, I gotta dig my sweater out. Um, I, I haven't. I think it's here somewhere. It is. It's in your office. <laughs> <laughs> All my knits are here and not at home, making it fairly limited selection at home sometimes. But yeah. anyway. Um, sorry, we have people walking by. <laughs> We're yeah. just getting used to recording in front of people. Yeah, this uh, is a corner of my office and yes, the doors. The, all here glass. Are all windows. Yes, yeah. all windows. So, you know, <laughs> uh, I think they enjoy watching us ramble on at the computer, at the, uh, at the phone. Well, whether they do or not, we're going to We're do doing it because we're enjoying <laughs> it. The other thing I'm wearing today, I, I don't know if I've ever worn this on the show. I don't know. This is my uh, tweed uh, jacket and it was made to fit which I just love. I left my pony outside. 
<laughs> so anyway, I had this made in Scotland and um, it's one of my favorite things ever because it actually is made to fit me. They took my measurements. Nice. And had it made and then they shipped it to me, which was really nice. I want more, more and more and more. That would be lovely. <laughs> Anywho, um, so do you have any FOs with you today? That one? Yeah. yeah. I don't think I brought anything else. I thought I'd be done. I have a hat I'm working on. I thought I would be done, but I'm not. Do you know what I just realized? I'm doing it. Good. Before we go to things like that, mm -hmm. what you're working on, why don't we announce a winner so that we don't forget like we did a couple of times ago? Yeah. So uh, our first winner from the last episode is Pelly Fan. And Pelly says, fun episode as usual. It's interesting to see that marled yarns are making a comeback. I'm looking forward to seeing knitted items from them. Thanks for sharing all your woolly goodness, and thank you for promoting Rachel. Looking forward to supporting her as well. Fantastic. Thank you, Pelly. Um, if you can email us at info at the woolly thistle, we will get you a $25 gift card to the shop. Put prize winner in all caps in the subject line so we can pick you out really yes. quick and get you your prize. And if you would like to be in the running, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Mm -hmm. We pick winners from the comments. So thank you very much for yeah. that. Congratulations, Pelly. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, what are you knitting on right now? What do you have going on? So I started, our color work cow is still trucking yes. along for yes. at least, we have one, at, when this airs, we'll have one more week left. Time flies. Time are you are you fly. enjoying knitting your thing? I am. So I, I actually, at the beginning of the year, I did make like a list of things I wanted to work on, projects I wanted to get to this year, and we'll see so if I organized. actually get to all of them. Yeah. Um, it was just sort of a nice mental practice, and yeah. color work was on my list. Yeah. Um, and I'm thoroughly enjoying um, working on some color I saw work. this on Instagram last night. I, I am so in love with this color palette. I really do think uh, um, I'm going to end up making well, a list. What, what you said in, <clears throat> the, in, <clears throat> in that uh, Instagram post was so true, which is this is a great way to play with color. Yeah. <coughs> to see how you like thing. them all. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there's something about that red with the peachy, corally. I just can't get enough. And the browns. Um, so I'm, I'm knitting with Rama Fennel Garn. I've got, I've got three colors going right here. Ooh. Um, so. How's um, that going then? It's really not bad. Uh, I sort of just kind of keep, you know, one mm -hmm. here, one here, and one there. Yep. And yep. then this hand just kind of. Works too. Yeah, it yeah. just works too. And yeah. it's, it's good. Good. Um, not, no problem at all. So. Good. Um, but. Look at those colors. I know. I really love them. Is this a beanie? Yeah, it's a beanie. Um, the pattern, it is from, I'm still working through Mel Rocky Heads, so it was sort of the next color work pattern in yeah, the book, and yeah. it's by Diana Walla. It's oh, yes. Ness. Yes. Um, and Gorgeous. Hers is all blues in the book, but. Do you know what? If you got, that would be a great start to a best, that pattern, mm -hmm. wouldn't it? If you just made it a little bit round, uh, a little bit wider. Yeah. 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 It's awesome. it's just, I'm, I'm really pleased with it. Yeah. It's um, lovely. And, and I love that warm. Is this uh, what color is this? Do you know off the I'm top? I'm really bad. I took all the bands yeah, off my. Yeah, I so do the stuff like I'll, that too. I'll put them in the um, show notes. Yeah. And we can, but I've been really bad. Where's about. the ball? So I think this is actually leftover from my vanilla fluff. Oh, good. So um, and then I know that's four zero seven eight because I love it. Um, so this is this is more brown. Yeah. Warmer. Yeah. And oh, then lovely. The, the dark brown. And then mm -hmm. the only thing that's not fennel garn is the peachy color, which, which is fitting in just fine. It is. And I know fennel has a similar yeah. um, shade. So when I when I do translate this to a vest, I'll probably use the fennel color because mm -hmm. I don't know they'll yeah. have enough. And right. I don't want to play chicken. Right. Chicken's not Really fun. good colors together, though. Yeah, I really like, I really like them. Yeah. They're, they're really speaking to me. That's you can awesome. tell I clearly like yeah, this do. red. Yeah. Um, which on the bright side, I know I'll wear it. Well, that's it. You know, you're not being matchy matchy, but it, there's a common thread throughout your wardrobe. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that is something I think a lot about these days is knitting things that I really enjoy knitting, but that I will wear. Right. Because, you know, I mean, yeah, we all love to knit no matter what, but I think wearing your knits is important too. Yeah. Like, if it's something that I just want to knit for the practice of it, it's usually not a sweater. Right, um, right. It's something else. Right. Like, my West Knit shawl. Mm -hmm. um, it's still colors that I know I want to wear. Mm -hmm. um, but, but the design is definitely a bit more avant-garde avant -garde. Yes. than I usually yeah. would wear for a sweater. Um, so There's Diana. That, yeah, it's so good. Let's let's get that nice picture of her there. I know. That 
that crown too. Yeah. Um, and the star on the back. So good. And did and everybody saw your finished hat, right? Do you have I that? I think with so. You? I didn't bring it with me. I oh, forgot it. Yeah. So it is I did show it and wear it on the Facebook live. Yeah. Um so if you pop over to our Facebook group, um and I do Maggie pictures and, of it on my Ravelry pages. Well. Maggie and Grady did a Facebook Live on Friday, uh, last week mm -hmm. when you're watching this. Yeah, so um, oh, good. I'll bring it next time. It, I've been getting, I've been wearing it. It's a different fit than I'm yeah. used to wearing, but I really like it. Good. Anything else on the needles that you want to show us? Um, I did bring my Westnet shawl because I've not worn it. Let's have a wheel. a little section of it. Oh, good. So, so this is his twists and turns from the the. I'm still on clue two. It looks squishy. But we won't, we won't go there. So, <laughs> um, so I finished that, and then I finished that one um, cable bit over there. Yeah. Um, and I've picked up on this side to do the cable bit. Oh, wow. Um, and I'm actually enjoying the cables. I don't know what that's about because well, I don't usually enjoy cables. So. There, maybe there's just n not Some, that many of them for you or something. I don't know. I like cables. I like knitting cables. Yeah, I think I just need to kind of get over. Yeah. Um, and then really from here, I don't think there's... I feel like you could fly away with this thing. Yes. Yeah. So, and then do you yeah, do stuff so, right along the bottom? Um. So the next part, I think, will be finishing off these, like, wings. Oh, right. Um, and they'll... They, they... I don't remember what the design does there. But you finish it off. I think it's more stripes from the two. And then... There's options, I think, for what you can do down here because these are still. And we're not spoiling anything because this is now long over. Yeah, this the MCAL, I think, ended beginning of December because he had like another winter cozy cow. <laughs> I don't And then he's starting another cow. Like, well, you know what I'm, I'm noticing? Just slow and I'm just kind of going through it. Is it feels squishy. There's squish. It does feel squishy. Yeah. Um, and I've knit mine. The two colors, the two striping colors are yeah. from our, our new Yarn Rambler. Yeah. Um, which is coming back soon. And Yay. then the pink is some hand spun of mine. So the pink is actually a little squishy. Oh, yes, it's it is. Probably a little I was thinking thicker. it was, um, it's the same color as, uh, the woolly mammoth you just were showing us. It's similar. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm consistent in what I like. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, Lovely. Amazing. Yeah. So Fly away. I'm enjoying knitting with the Rambler too. And I like mm -hmm. how the cables really popped. With yeah. the Rambler. Rambler is a three-ply. Right. And you can see that they just... They are popping off. They do. They just yeah. pop. And that's not um, blocked or anything yet? No, even? not yet. Yeah. No, no not yet. Um, I'm, I'm still a ways off. I've been knitting on my Four Trows mittens. And honestly, I think I've knit this three times now. But I'm finally happy. Um, I have changed up. I was doing... You can see. I've got... This was the first one I knit. And I did a little bit of color work on the gusset. And then I cast on more stitches than I actually wanted to for the top. So I wasn't happy with that. Although I think it looks really pretty as a as a design, right? I think it's really cute. And of course, these are not the same colors as the hat, which we will have eventually. This is just to keep it fun, changing it up a little bit. And so anyway, I did another couple of gussets. And finally, I've settled on just a plain gusset, even though... You're having to travel the floats across. But I really love how the increases on this are just really nice and neat. I don't know if you can see that. It looks it looks neat in real life anyway. See? Yeah. It, it does. It gives it a yeah, nice, it's got a nice little nice chain up there. Um and I figured out all my, you know, stitch counts and things that this is very nice. I'm quite happy with this. And until I get to the top, I'll just be knitting round and round. Nice. Yeah. Um, so, yes, as soon as I get this one finished, I can get it written up and out. And I also think that it's going to be interchangeable, whether it's the left or the right, because I have the palm the same as the back. Nice. So you're going to be able to put both on either, either hand. So many ends. There you go, which I think looks really cute. So yeah, I'll do a full mitten. Although you could easily finish it right You there. could, if and you wanted to. You, uh, you could do another, just a little bit of um, of the corrugated ribbing and that would be that. But very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and nice and warm because it's double, you know, with the strand of color work. So that's coming along. I am, um, I you know, I really should have about four finished mittens, the amount I've knitted, but there you right go, away. that's me. 
And then I'm also knitting. It's just part of the design process. It really is. It's part of mine anyway. <laughs> knit, 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 and re knit. Pelly was saying about the marled. I'm actually knitting with Studio Donegal, and this is a very, um, it is a very marled um, yarn, but it's low contrast, which is nice. Yeah. And so I th I'm sure I showed you this last time, but when this is another Dun Robin sweater, I'm knitting this one for my daughter so that I can test size a smaller size because then it's a quicker knit for me. I'm on, I think this is number four or five. And uh, and so anyway, I'm just, I'm recording the course that's going to go with it, um, which I'll be excited about. Um, but that's the finished uh, Dun Robin there. And actually behind you, Maggie, there's the first one, the bigger mm -hmm. one. Um, and, you know, we'll get it out to you as soon as we can. Maggie, um, who should we go to? I think we should go to Caitlin. Okay, let's go to Caitlin and see what she's knitting. And we'll see you back here afterwards. Hi everyone, nice to see you again. I'm Caitlin. I am coming to you remotely from where I work uh, in Indianapolis. I'm a part of the Wooly Thistle team um, at a distance. <laughs> so it's a dreary rainy day here. Hopefully the lighting turns out okay despite the um, dark day outside. I have just a few um, kind of finished projects and a current project to show you today. Um, so I'll get right started with that, with the two things I'm wearing first. I'm wearing my super simple summer sweater. This is a Hohi Locatelli pattern, and it is a top-down um, kind of round yoke sweater with increases in a couple spots here, uh, kind of big stripes as the pattern is written. Um, it is written for Retrosaria Mungo, which is why I'm wearing mine today, because we have that yarn coming to the Woolly Thistle shortly. Um, if it's not here already, I'm not exactly confident of the date, but I'm excited to see that yarn in the shop. It's a 50-50 wool cotton blend, and when I think of that yarn, I think of this pattern, because this is um, how I was introduced to the yarn originally. And, um, and yeah, excited to see it in the shop. That being said, my version of the sweater is not knit in Mungo because I didn't have um, ready access to that yarn back when I wanted to make this sweater. So mine is knit in Spud and Chloe sweater, um, which is a wool cotton blend. I think a little bit heavier weight probably than the Mungo and probably denser, I'm guessing. I've not felt the Mungo, but this one's pretty dense. Um, so my version's a little bit different than um, how the sweater will turn out in the Mungo, but I do love it. It's um, written to have a decent amount of ease, but I made less ease on mine. So I think I remember having to do a little bit of math um, just to make sure that the arms were um, not too tight. Um, anyway, that's one of my favorite pattern recommendations and one of my favorite designers, Hohe Locatelli, has so many wearable things. I've got a couple of her, I think three of her um, sweater designs that I've knit and love. Um, so yeah, Mungo will be coming if it's not already here. And uh, I'm excited to maybe even just knit another one of these <laughs> sweaters in that yarn. Second of all, I wanted to talk about the cowl that I'm wearing. So something that I cast on and finished just in the last couple of weeks, just a spur of the moment sort of um, some yarn in my stash was calling to me and I felt like knitting a cowl. Um, I didn't quite d decide on a cowl design for my um, colorwork accessories project, but I still kind of just wanted to make one. So I... Um, I cast this on and just kind of um, made it up <laughs> as I went. I drew out a bit of a chart plan beforehand and then, um, yeah, love how it came together. So this is three different yarns. Um, I have those here. I'll, I, I like to see them in the skein usually just to give a clearer idea of what they looked like. These two yarns here are uh, Stonehenge Fiber Mill Shepherd's Wool. It's a worsted weight, 100% wool, non-superwash treated yarn. I have these in my stash because I visited the mill. It's in Northern Michigan, which is somewhat local to where I grew up, um, a few hours away, but 
worth a trip up there um, for a fun visit. And um, yeah, you, you used to be able to get this at yarn shops, but I think they only sell it directly now. And then this one here is a hand spun Superwash BFL. I've never, this is my only time spinning with Superwash uh, yarn or fiber. And this was dyed by Sweet Georgia. Um, yeah, spun this up a couple years ago. And I always just kind of eyeball my skeins of hand spun and think, I think this looks about like a worsted weight. Let's try to use it in a worsted weight project. And the way I spin, like some parts are worsted, some are finer than that, uh, some are thicker, but it works out okay over the course of a whole project like this. So those are the yarns that I chose. And then I just um, created a motif, which starts here in the white background section, um, starts with kind of a transition with another color. And then you've got the white background with the teal more white background and then alternating the teal and the um, variegated more of the background and then another transition section to then the teal background uh, with something similar um, and then the third section is with the background is the variegated uh, so there's kind of three different chunks which rotates the three colors around so really you end up using the same amount of each yarn. Um, that was my original intent anyway, was to repeat each of these uh, sections twice. Um, but I ended up wanting to make the whole thing just a little bit longer. So there's a little bit longer teal background section here, <laughs> kind of where I started and ended the cowl. But I, I did a provisional cast on and then ended up doing a Kitchener at the end. Um, to kind of make that look fairly seamless. And it has a Mobius twist. If you've heard Maggie talk recently about her finished tapestry cowl, uh, maybe even on today's shopcast, I'm not quite sure what she's going to share. Um, basically just as you knit your tube and finish it before you graft it to the end, you do a half a twist and then graft it. And that creates this uh, sort of a shape, which I think ends up looking pretty nice when you put it on, it kind of keeps it from just kind of opening into one big flop of fabric. You can kind of fold it to have it flat into your coat or just kind of, you know, play with where that fold is. And um, yeah, so like I said, I just kind of made this up. Um, be kind of tinkering with the plan and the, the project and um, thinking about writing it down. So. I'll be sure to let you know if I do any other progress on this um, kind of fun little design. And lastly, I wanted to share just a little update on my pressed flowers cardigan. Um, since I shared it last, it's gotten a little bit of work done, um, though it's not done yet. So this is Amy Christopher's pattern, pressed flowers cardigan. There's originally a shawl, then I think now a hat and a cowl. And we've seen some really pretty cowls in the knit along. The pattern came out just in time for people to knit that in the knit along. Um, this is knit in sport weight yarn. My hand spun is the flowers and then the gray is all centrum two ply. Um, yeah, so I've got everything but the sleeves done. I like to do the, um, button band before I do the sleeves just so I can try it on a little bit more like authentically. Um, <laughs> really decked out in wool here today. So it's going to be a little bit cropped, a little shorter than I usually wear something, but I think um, it's, it's turning out pretty nice. Um, I had to do a little bit of playing around with the color placement uh, as I was knitting with my hand spun, which has color changes at sort of random times. I played a little bit with which section I knit at what point, uh, just to try to get the colors to play a little bit nicely. Um, this chunk here, you can tell, um, was kind of a, a big transition. This is where you, you start at the bottom and you knit back and forth across the whole back and sides, and then you split once you're ready to, um, kind of leave the armholes and then you just knit like this little section of the front and the other little section of the front 
and the bigger panel on the back. So took some play with the color, but I think it turned out a little bit scrappy, a little bit, um, yeah, not quite totally matchy. And I think that's part of the fun. So um, one of these times I'll have that finished one to show you. I also have just a little bit of my Flowers of Fort Rose hat done during our knit along. I've still got a couple of weeks as I'm recording this to finish that. I'm knitting mine in Jameson and Smith two ply jumper weight, um, kind of a gray background and then different pinks and kind of a dark burgundy for the, the flowers. Um, yeah, I hope that you're enjoying the knit along if you're doing that with us um, and that your making in general is going well. Thanks so much for joining and I'll see you next time. Bye. We hope you enjoyed watching Caitlin. I love seeing her cowl yes. um, and her, her design that she's Getting put crafty together. There. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really so pretty. nice. Yeah. Um, I hope she does put together a, a pattern for If it. she does, we'll let you know for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, we yeah. encourage that for sure. Yeah, I know yeah. she was going to work up another one. So. Oh, good. All yeah. right. I'm looking forward to seeing that. All right. Sounds good. And, you know, just um, while we're on that, um, Emma had her release of her Jane Bennett? Yeah, her Jane Bennett socks. You can find kits for them now in the shop. She's Did really released, well. Yeah, she's released the pattern, um, which is written for both a fingering and a DK weight yeah. yarn. Yeah. Um, and the for the DK weight, she knit her socks with Rama Vandre, which yeah. is actually a, a light worsted weight, yeah. but it worked for her DK weight pattern. Cool. Um, and we have kits for you. Yeah, yeah, and it's been flying out the shop yeah so emma thank you for that it's a lovely lovely design so uh, color work cow we're in the we're in the thick of it now yeah we're in the we're in the last of it um yeah. we've got one more week to go uh, so make sure when you finish your projects that you get photos of them either on instagram with the hashtag or in the facebook group to be prize eligible you have to post either in the facebook group with the hashtag or in which our is, ravelry we'll group. put the hashtag there mm -hmm. yep or, or in our ravelry group in the fo yeah. thread which i'm sure is up by now Yes. Yes. For sure. Yeah. Yes. Um. So yeah, and then we'll pick winners after the end. It ends on March eighteenth, mm -hmm. which is around the corner. Yeah. But these are just accessories. Which is a Saturday when we were planning it out. I was like, you know, let's give people one extra non-work day to yes. hustle through their projects. Yes, and maybe I'll have these mittens finished by then. That would be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've really enjoyed the color work cow so far. Um, really enjoyed knitting on mittens again. It's been a long time since I mit knit mittens. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we know that you're all enjoying it out there too. Thank you for participating and being wonderfully chatty in the groups. It's great to see all the photos. If you just love seeing uh, beautiful projects, and even if you've not knit with us for the color work, yeah. well, head to the groups yeah. um, to see the projects that they've they're working for on. For sure. It, it, they are absolutely beautiful. They are. So they are. And projects. so many really nice uh, flowers <laughs> and portraits hats in different colorways. So many good ideas in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The pink ones. Oh, yeah. the pink it's ones. fun to see the the colors that we put together. Yeah. Um, yes, and they look fantastic they as do. well. Yeah. yeah. So um, we are hoping to get a restock soon of all the colors that have been out of stock, which meant that all our kits went out of stock. I believe we're filming on a Monday. I believe they're actually due in this week. So so maybe by the time Friday, you see this, um, yes, yeah, we'd pop over to the shop for sure. For sure. I mean, getting a kit is a great way to buy. Um, buy yarn too because you get your bag and maybe a stitch marker or some other thing mm -hmm. really nice okay well good and should we talk about the next cow maggie because we are we cow should. we should so we've been thinking about we've had a couple of requests um uh people emailing and asking if we're going to do another half cow mm -hmm. um and it got us thinking um we love haps uh love haps. and you certainly can't have too many right um, but we thought too how can we invite more people to play along and knit along with us and so we're going to open it up and just do a shawl cow shawl We've cow never done a shawl cow. never ever um all so the years definitely knit a hap if that's what you want to knit but if you want to knit a crescent shape something or other or anything that's a shawl yeah come on and knit with us when are we going to start that do we have dates yet um it'll be in we april do have dates it'll be at the end of april mm -hmm. um i'm still putting the final touches on it and caitlin and i have been chatting yeah um so we should have more details for you soon great um but you can already start and we're gonna we're working on putting kits together yes so yes um for this cow like um all of our cows at this point we do ask that you use at least 80 percent of woolly thistle yarn yeah I think that that leaves enough and that can be bought over any at any yes point you can time. use your woolly thistle stash <clears throat> for sure so go stash diving yeah and uh yeah so we'll start this at the end of april so stay tuned we will have kits yeah for some um of our best-selling shawls and hats yeah and 
that's going to be exciting. Um, I haven't finished my hat from last year, but I have knit more than You're half You're not of prize that. eligible, so we'll allow you to finish last year. Oh, all right. So if you want to finish something, but you've already started it and it's more than, you know, it's, we'll, we'll have... Um, yeah, we've got to tweak the rules, yeah. especially for people who may have participated if you've got a, a UFO uh, yeah. out there, what yeah. percentage we want done yeah. um, in order to be prize eligible. I think you're always welcome to join us and pop in. Um, and knit with us, yes. Yeah. So, you know, definitely if you need a little uh, motivation to finish last year's mm -hmm. hat or what, have, or what have you, or just a shawl that you've got lying around, just knit with us if it gets it done. Just not prize eligible. Right. Yeah. 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 So Great. No, I'm excited to do that. Um, I, I love the thought of woolly shawls, you know, mm -hmm. and just scrumptious what about um stoles and things like that will we include anything i think so anything i mean that anything that's that's not a cowl that's shawl -y. all right shawl -y. more so no cowls but shawls yeah yes. and uh anything knit crocheted um, yes both are welcome yes there are a lot of beautiful crochet shawls yes right there. so we will have let uh, we will have the rules coming out we'll put them on mm -hmm. the website when they're out we'll let you know yeah and uh yeah that's exciting i'm looking forward to that mm -hmm. i do feel my knitting mojo is coming back i mean it was always there but it was just a little bit mm, for yeah, a while i think it's normal to go through some different like ebb and flow i will yeah. say um going through my recent sort of stint of like i don't know what to cast on next i just pulled out all my whips yeah um and like, cleared the needles yeah um any i only had i think i only ripped out one thing that yeah. was clearly it was Languishing. just not gonna happen right um and so i just ripped it out mm, yeah it's done new day yeah. isn't it great though it kind of gives you that power it is. to feel like you can just it is, and I'm one of those Start people over. where I finish a project and I get so excited, so the needles, I don't usually empty the bag the way that I should, so yeah. leftover yarns went away, yeah. needles went back in their needle yeah. containers, and yeah. it was a nice sort of free feeling, <sighs> and I had plenty, I, I had a few whips uh, to work on, mm -hmm. which is why my shawl's getting some love right now, yeah. I do want to finish it, especially it'll that be good one, yeah. to finish my West Knit shawl before I yes. start for the shawl cow. Yes, I see your soft <clears throat> pouch there, just show the ladies and gents. Yes because yes. doesn't that look nice we yeah, so we are starting uh to have a new order of these custom made for us mm -hmm. which will be lovely oh and there's your I pulled out because this is i need to cast <laughs> look at this on. color there's I, definitely a theme yeah yeah i, I like what i like um it all coordinates hey when it <laughs> when does everything the same it all coordinates exactly does um yeah i need to know these these are um Denise's. yeah these are denise um yeah. denise of earth tones girl she yeah. has her one more step sock yeah and i need one yeah. Um, I need to finish the other one. One more step sock. I need one more step. So, um, but they're Denise, just lovely. They're lovely. Yeah. Rambler. Yeah. Really nice. Oh, and we have started seeing our uh, second lot of Rambler coming in. We're just mm -hmm. waiting on the last few colors. It is feeling beautiful. Yeah. I'll we'll show you beautiful. in a few minutes. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, so that's the next cow. The also very exciting coming in this month, Maggie, are more uh, Studio Donegal blankets. So we had these in, I think, once before. I didn't know I had wool on my lap. <laughs> Miraculously, <laughs> so do I. So um, these are a couple that we held back last time so that we could show you some. Mm -hmm. But we're going to have about 10 or 12 different designs. Mm -hmm. These are pure Irish wool, handmade in Ireland, uh, custom made for us. Mm -hmm. Maggie, these will be in the end of March sometime or even a little bit sooner if they yeah. arrive sooner. We're just waiting on details from Studio Donegal that they were, they we just heard they were done at the finishers. Mm -hmm. And so we're, we're waiting... With when, bated breath for that, that yes. last notification. I think they just have to sew on their labels and then box them up and send them off to us. God, these are gorgeous. Yeah, and the finisher, I think, does the... Yes, does the tassels. Um, the tassels. So good. There's a way to do that. Yeah. Um, these are really quite big uh, lap blankets for sure. You know, they, they, I have a king-size bed and it fits right across the top of it. Nice. Um, and we do have some lovely photos, which we can just show you some of the mm -hmm. selections there. These are very special, limited, uh, because, um, you know, they can only make so many. Yeah. Um, it's made, they are made by hand on a machine assisted hand loom. Yeah. So I think that means the power, they have power, but um, the, you can. They very much are hand woven. Yes. Like there, if, there is a video on the website on the product page if you yeah. want to see the weaving process. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's just amazing to watch. Yeah. 
Um, and if you want to, if you go to the product page, you can see all of the um, styles that yes. will be available. Yes, we've so got that all, all up there and plan. And I think this is amazing value for what you're going to yeah. get. And uh, my, so cozy. my kids who are always, oh, well, itchy, itchy. <laughs> you know, they will, I will find them hunkered under these. So mm -hmm. very wooly and warm and lovely. Yes. Yeah. And lots of different designs, like we said. So yeah, you can visit the shop and see. Really but we've given you a one. couple of photos there. Yeah, this is so neutral that mm -hmm. it would go anywhere, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think that this is the Donegal tweed. Yeah. So it's just lovely. And then we have another one here that's an underlating twill pattern. Yes. Oh, so good. So good. And I think this comes in a pink or this tealy color. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Yeah. And then, of course, this is similar. It's just the, the big checks. Yeah, I think that that one's called Valentine. Ah. Just lovely. Uh, I hope they have um, lots of rainbow ones left because I think a rainbow one is in my future. Hopefully, hopefully. I'll fight you for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes, these are coming. We will let everyone know. So yeah. be sure to be on our newsletter because that's where we'll let you know. That's where people get first first notice is in our newsletters yeah. for sure. All right. Um, okay. Should we do another winner? We should do another winner. Go ahead, Maggie. Tell us who the winner is. Our second winner today is Christine Lima. And Christine says, um, love seeing Kelsey's color work. Those comparisons are so neat. And I can't wait for kits with Emma's sock pattern. They're here. Well, wait no longer, Christine. <laughs> um, so, Christine, if you want to email us at info at the Willie Thistle, put prize winner on all caps in the subject line, and we will get you your $25 gift certificate to the Willie Thistle. I think I know what she's going to spend on. Spend it on. I think there's a good chance. Yes, yes. And if you want to be in the running, we give away two gift cards usually every episode, and you can be in the running to be a winner. If you leave us a comment down below, you just have to say hello and uh, give us a thumbs up on the video and subscribe sure, to our channel. Nice if you say a little more than hello. It is, we, but... we read them all. Usually when this goes live on Friday, um, Maggie and I start, mm -hmm. <laughs> start reading and trying to respond to uh, over the weekend, your mm -hmm. comments, the more the better, we love it. And thank you so much for that. And do tell your friends. So yeah, tell your friends about the Willie Thistle Shopcast. We love to um, grow our channel there on YouTube and also um, introduce new people to what we have here at the Wooly Thistle. So uh, we did start a new Refer a Friend program. Yes. The way that it works is you share your love of the Wooly Thistle with uh, one of your knitting friends who you know would absolutely love yes. all the yarns that we have here in the shop. You send them a quick email, and when they shop, then you both get a little reward. Which and is so nice, and we're yeah. happy to share the, the wealth with you. So yes, tell your friends. Yeah, we often see you sharing and shouting about your yes. love and inviting people to the group so that we, fig we figured this was a lovely way to sort of... Say um, thank you. Yeah, say thank you for... Or, um, all that sharing with you. Yes, yeah, so keep it up and uh, use the refer a friend. There is a button right on the website. If mm -hmm. you if you can't find that button, you'll find it in the menu. It's there for sure. Uh, great. Okay, good. So we did. And uh, while we're talking about things in the shop, uh, you can also now we've lowered um, oh, the shipping price that's at the huge. moment. So you, after every order over one twenty five for the in the United States. It's free shipping. It's usually $149. So usually you have to spend almost $150 to get free shipping. Now it's just $125. Yeah. That's $25 reduction. That's pretty significant. So we want you to come and shop with us and uh, take advantage of that for sure. Yeah. U.S. customers only at this at this time, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so that's for March and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Uh, so we still have to go visit with Rachel mm -hmm. and her news and just we're thrilled but before we do that let's see what's new in the shop and then we can go and see rachel after yeah. how about that folks okay so yeah. what is new in the shop Maggie? um so if you want to grab we have a beautiful basket of yarn over yeah. there this is a new thing for sure <clears throat> yeah this is new and exciting um so rama released a couple of weeks ago a new worsted weight yarn um and this is it it is called fivel fivel um and it is a woolen spun worsted weight yarn. So woolen um, spun, my favorite. I know, so nice so, and lofty. And it really is, really, really fluffy. And so where does this fit in the Rama family? Because now we have, we have Gamelseri, Finnelgarn, Strickgarn, Vams. So does this go between Strickgarn and Vams in, in thickness, I think? 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because Strickagarn is a DK weight. Right. And right. Vans is, uh, I think it's closer to, closer it's a, to an Aran weight. Yes, it is. So this is going to fit in between those two. So a worsted weight. Um, but I bet you, given its fluffy nature, you could probably knit it at a couple of different gauges. Yeah. Yeah. So loads and loads of colors. And do we have all the colors in, Maggie? We have we all the get? colors that were available, yes. Yeah. And this really is brand new and sort of um, dropped mm -hmm. on us uh, almost by surprise, right? It's so quite by so, surprise. Yes. <laughs> so as soon as we found out, we got it in. Yeah. But we were, I was delighted. Um, yeah. So I think the, for it felt like a little bit of a gap that we didn't right, have a Right. And we are nice... trying to get a few more worsted white yarns in. Mm -hmm. I like this one. I know. Of, I'm really feeling the browns lately. Oh yeah, they're just oh, there's my red. There's your red. I know I'm I'm holding it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really, really nice. These sort of warm caramelly tones mm -hmm. are really. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, and then like this merlot shade. Oh yeah, that. that's really nice. Yeah, yeah. I just saw um, uh, Caitlin sent me a designer. I think I'm trying to remember her Instagram handle. It's Amy Sure Makes. I think. Um, we can put it there in case I'm wrong. Um, she had, I instantly, I went to Ravelry and downloaded her cardigan pattern. In she, this? Um, but she uses a worsted weight. So I'm ah. thinking like, oh, I could, I could knit it. Um, and my, my oldest daughter, um, I was talking to her about like, if I knit you something, what would you want? And she's like, well, a sweater. Um, <laughs> that girl's um, smart. But I think she would actually wear this too. Yeah. Well, that's um, it. It so, feels soft and fluffy yeah. and luxurious. It is. It's lovely. So many, many colors. Should we show everybody all the different colors, Maggie? Sure. We can do a quick run through right. the colors. I think people like when we do the colors because yeah, you can see them. Exactly. So you go first. So and this is um, a medium gray. It is color 400. Which is, um, I think, in all the different lines, that mm -hmm. sort of medium gray, which yeah. is nice. This is three. It's a very bright Darker blue, mm -hmm. really nice. Um, that Merlot wine color is 06. And then sort of a medium baby blue is 07. Um, this this red, this bricky red is 401. Mm, love that. And this very bright green for St. Patrick's Day is 10. Um, nice lavender is 05. And Easter's coming, so you know that's a good Easter color. As is this one, fourteen. I think too, just a nice springy. Yeah. You know, it's funny because the yellow looks really bright, but um, I've been seeing a lot of knits lately too, where the yellow is just a, a pop, beautiful pop of color. Mm -hmm. That exactly. Yeah. That's why grab bags are always so good because you're like, oh, I'd never pick that color, but used in the right place in color work it's, it's just what it needs and i think too depending on your skin tone like i couldn't yeah. wear that but somebody with different skin yeah. tone would absolutely look amazing yeah in that color so we have it yes all right um then we've got a lovely red this is zero two it's quite a bright red but it's really nice so this to me this looks like a grayish beige okay yeah. um and it's oh four uh, a nice bright pink, 13, one of my favorite kind of colors. Um, beautiful light grays, color 300. Love that too. And then this minty green is 301. Gorge. Can I, can I hand that to you? I'm running out of room here yeah. on my lap. Um, and this is a true cream. This is 08. So I think if you is put it? that gray, I isn't it? It's like cream. a yellowy cream. Yeah, I don't think it's cream. All right. Well, if you look, I figured sometimes it's helpful to put them together. So yeah. you've got 08 on the, and 04 together. Yeah. Nice. So. Um, and then a nice medium heathered blue, 402. A navy blue, very dark navy blue, which is nice, is uh, 09. Nice heathered brown. I like that. A very reddish brown. Kind of chestnutty. 404. Did you do this one? I did. I was, that's why I was kind of oh, laying there on its side. Um, Love and then, this. I know. It's so good. 302. Nice tan. Yeah. <laughs> I like its little alfalfa oh, yeah. sprout on the top. <laughs> um, I actually really like that green. 12. It's a bright. It's actually, like, look with the wine color. Oh, that would I be know. so pretty. God, that's why I'm eating. What are those chocolates? Is it chocolate lime? 
where it's got the thing in the middle. That's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. Yeah. Um, it's a very limey green, but it's a little bit soft. It's mm -hmm. not neon. Yeah. And then a nice warm dark brown, 403. And a heathered. Mm -hmm. Oh, and these two together are nice. And I've got a black here just to throw that in, 36. Yeah, I love these. There's that peachy coral, which yeah. is 303. And then another brown, which is 11. Really nice. Really, really, really gorgeous. And these are in the shop starting today. Yeah, so they're available. Um, Maggie, um, we don't have a ton of it available, but we'll be restocking it. Just look at that. I know. Gorgeous. Absolutely. I'm really feeling all the browns lately. Yeah. Yes. Very, very nice. And the grays and the colors. Yep. <laughs> Just that sort of gentle. The other thing we've done um, that I believe should be done and available in the shop today is we've made Toomey available by the ball. We've had right. Toomey in the shop. Um, Toomey is a 50-50 alpaca wool blend. It's very soft. Yep. Um, and we've had it in stock for the Freya hat, which yes. has done really well in those kits. Yep. And we decided to just open it up and see. So uh, it's unusual for us to have alpaca, but if you like it, that's fine. We'll get yeah. we'll get more in. It's easy. We enough. had some employees who were like, "Can we have this by the ball, please?" Um, that's always I, a good sign. It is always a good <laughs> sign because they definitely like what we do. Yes. Um, so yeah, so I said, well, sure, why not? And it's very soft it because of the alpaca. Soft, um, yeah. But it still has that wool to give it a little exactly. balance and structure. And we yes. did add some since we were making it available by the ball. We added some colors. So yeah, yep. so that's in the shop now too. Yeah. And that's just <clears throat> all looking very pretty together. It is too many out of red. <sighs> you just can't. I love it. Yep, gorgeous. Um, neons and neutrals I see up there. Mm -hmm. So that is now in the shop. That is now released in, um, in the shop. So when you order a copy, we'll get it out to you right away. And it's Libyana May's um, follow-up book to Worsted. So Worsted was bright yellow in the first book. We couldn't believe how well that did. We were not prepared for, for that many copies going out. Yeah. But we, we were able to do it. And now this is her follow-up book and it too is doing very well. Yeah. Um, and we have already mentioned, but Jane Bennett socks from Emma. Mm -hmm. We've got a picture there and we do have kits. Yeah. That's knit in Rama Vandre or Van Vandre, mm -hmm. which is their DK sock weight. Yeah. Rama's DK sock well, weight. Well, it's like, it's, it's a worsted weight. Oh, um, but enough. there's a bit of flexibility there. Yes. And it's a fairly tightly spun and it's fun because you wash it in the washer. They tell yeah. you to put it in the washing machine. We have the instructions on the product yeah. page and yeah. I've done it. It's, it's fine. It was, it was fine. And they floofed and it was quite lovely. <laughs> Love it. Anything to make our lives easier. And the Harris Tweed, Tweed tote bags are now here. Mm -hmm. They've been on pre-order and now they have landed and they're gorgeous. And I don't know if we've shown everybody that they come in their own uh, dust bag. Did we do that? Um, I think we have, but it's been a while. I think it's easy to not notice. There's one on my desk over there. So these are lovely. Um, so your bag will come in, it's on dust bag, which has the Studio Tolsta and the Wooly Thistle collaboration there, which is very nice. And we have three colors and we still have all three colors because mm -hmm. we got as many as they could make <laughs> because we knew they'd do well. So here yeah. you can see, and I put her on um, the bouncer here just to show you kind of scale of the mm -hmm. bag. This is the charcoal uh, with the black canvas. Up top is our um, custom colorway, which yeah. is the purple. And behind you, Maggie, there's a lovely gray one. Actually, yeah, you have and your... actually, I have my gray one here too. Yes, I've been using mine, and you yes. can see it's got all kinds of things. Yes, I had this in it this morning, along with a whole shawl and a bunch of yarn. Like it's just yeah. packed full. And it's just, isn't it a nice, gorgeous bag? Yeah, it's just I, I absolutely love and, it. Yes. Um, and the side pockets, I had a book in here, but I left it. Um, I took it out and. Yeah, left it at home, but I've got all kinds of needles and pens. And, um, mine, I use mine primarily as my knitting bag. Yeah, um, yeah, with all I the love things. It. And it's like... nice and all woolly. And, yes, yes. Um, in fact, I think Josh told me the other day that he was dropping his son off at school, and he saw somebody wearing her purple. She yeah. had her purple yeah. coat, yeah. Um, and I noticed that Krista, who had done a segment. A contributor yes. segment for us. She posted online. Um, she was visiting an LYS. Yeah. Um, near her, and she had her tote with That's her. That's right. Yeah. So, so we're starting to see, to see them, them in the wild. Exactly, which is really really awesome. Yeah. So we will keep uh, selling those until they are gone. Mm -hmm. um, and right now, you should be able to get one if you would like. Yeah. For sure. Um, okay, okay, Maggie. What else do we have this in the shop? Uh, Westmoreland update. Westmoreland update. So um, kits. Uh, 
I, I just wanted to kind of update people. You can get Marie Wallen's Westmoreland book. It is available now in the shop. Um, we are still working on kits. We're waiting for the yarn to be finished for yes. the mill for Marie, and then we will have a stock up. Yes. It's looking like that probably won't be until early April. Right, right. So, so. Marie is also delayed because it's, the, it's at the mill and just between uh, little things breaking down on the machinery, which always seems to happen, yeah. just the way it goes. You know, good things are worth waiting for. Mm -hmm. We are happily uh, waiting for that to come in because as soon as it does, we know that you will be ready for it. So use this time now to plan yeah. which which project you want to knit. I think we're so used to yarns being readily available that um, it's easy to forget that this is, it's a fairly small batch yarn Yes. Um, that's created especially for her at uh, John Arbin Mills. Yes. And so sometimes that means waiting. And it's a process. I mean, it's not yeah. just, you know, wool going in and, and yarn coming out. There's a whole mm -hmm. series of things that needs to happen just right. Yeah. And so that's where we are with that. But as soon as um, we get word that it's on its way to us, we will let you know. Yeah, but since it had been a while since we updated, I mm. wanted to let everyone know. Yeah, yeah. Um, next Friday, we have Rambler coming back. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm so excited we're doing this again. Yeah. It went so well the first time. We had to bring it back. You guys really loved it. And I know that many folks have seen it out there, but we've not had it to get. So now will be our chance. Yeah. Um, do you have that? I do. I have some. So not quite all of the colors have arrived. So these are all the colors, um, but not all of the second batch has fully arrived. Yet, it's on its way. way. It's on its way. Um, but you can see, and this with this go round, we um, there was a switch and die house. Yes. Um, yes. So they were able to color match perfectly. We've compared them with the, yes. the previous so, run. Yes. These are the ten colors that we issued in the first run. Um, done for the second run, so 10 colors, exactly the same with a new dye house. And it also um, feels amazing. It does, it feels amazing. Um, so this is a three ply, three ply sock yarn, 100% wool, which is 80% dorset. And we went with the dorset because we love the properties in that, which is, you know, it's springy and wooly wool, um, slightly rustic and um, strong. Yeah, it's one of those down like breeds, yeah. so you get that bounciness and, and durability. Yep. And we put 10%, oh, it does feel good. We put 10% <laughs> Corydale in and 10% Romney. So it's exactly the same as before, um, but it feels a little bit differently because I think the dye house has maybe um i don't know yeah i don't know i don't know enough about the dyeing process yeah. but it did it felt it feels a little it feels like what my sock feels like after i've locked it yes yes um so just absolutely lovely yes it is lovely so this color here is golden fern which is that gold color and just look at our cute label and rambler uh comes from you know ramblers back home over in scotland and england climbing all the the hills and through the fields and climbing over styles. Um, that lifestyle is basically a rambling lifestyle where you just, you know, because all the land is available for walking through. Just so long as you shut the gates behind you and don't let all the sheep out, that's always bad. <laughs> so you gotta watch that. But yeah, Rambler is good for, uh, well, it's a sock yarn, so it's great for rambling, but also you could use it for shawls mm -hmm. and hats and mittens and all kinds of stuff. Sweaters, like I, yeah. it's, it's rustic, but I don't think I would have any trouble wearing this. Um, nope. Similar to yeah. like a JNS or exactly. So um, part of that's know yourself and how sensitive that you are. But um, <laughs> the one you're holding up. I know. <laughs> uh, all the wool comes from uh, the Southern Adirondack yeah. Cooperative, which uh, is wool from New York. Vermont and Western Massachusetts. So very local to us oh, here. Isn't that natural? It's gorgeous. It's just absolutely. Oh, so, so lovely. Good. Yeah. And yep. Go ahead. Um, and then this one's lichen. Blue spruce, which goes really nice with that, mm -hmm. actually. They all kind of coordinate. And you will find vegetable matter. This is not something to be upset about. This is something <laughs> to rejoice in, right? You've got a bit of the field in there where the sheep came from. So good. I know. This one is winter sky. Yeah, I love that. That's I the know. one that I knitted my Agatha's in, which yeah. I forgot to bring today. Um, this is pine, which is a nice pine green. This one is lake. Mm. And here, this is another one I really love, is aster. That kind of purple, light purple. And last but not least is lupin. Yeah. And great for color work. So many of these go well together. Yeah. 
really lovely. So these Woo! will be in, not today, but Friday next yeah, week. Yeah, next Friday. Yeah. Next Friday at noon. And are we going to do a special little episode to welcome it in we next week? We are going to do a special little episode because we have some, some fun things coming. Um, in addition, I think we've... We've already sneak peeked that there'll be an Agatha course. Yes. Um, and we'll have kids to go with that because how could you not? Yes. Um, and then a uh, friend of the shop, uh, designer Virginia Sattler Reimer, has yeah. designed a new pattern yes. that uses Rambler. So we'll be showing that off to yes. you next week. Yes. And there will also be kids for that in the shop. Wow. Yes. It's so good. Yes, it is. So hope you're excited for Rambler coming. We sure are. It's mm -hmm. really lovely. Really lovely and quite, quite special for us. Okay. Yes. Um, <clears throat> with this run too, the we were really surprised last time the natural sold out fast. Yes. Um, so we did get more of the natural. Sold yes, out this because time. it's so good to mix and match with really any is. of the colors. So yeah. So yeah. Yes. Next Friday. Stay tuned. Yes. Stay tuned. So I think um, we do have a couple of other things in the shop, but I think we should go visit Rachel now. Uh, one more thing. Oh. Um, that I think is worth a shout out um, is that Spindrift is back in the shop. Yes, it is. Some of um, you found it already, which is yes. good. Lovely little basket. Uh, um, woolen sponge, Shetland wool from Shetland. Yum, yum, yum. Look at those colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, we don't yet have kits, but it is available by the ball. You can build your own kit, put your own colors together. If you need any help, you can always email us at info at the woolly thistle. We are happy to help you. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited to have this back in the shop. The, yes, we are. We are. These uh, these yarns are really lovely and beautiful. Um, they are spun on Shetland. And they take, just looking at this example, look at all the colors and that. Mm -hmm. So it's quite a process to make any of the colors. And what's holding us up from doing kits is that they haven't spun those particular colors or we don't have yeah. them in stock. So we will do our best to populate kits, but we thought, why hold on to this? This is great stash building color work. You can use it with Jameson and Smith two ply. Mm -hmm. um, they are slightly different uh, yardages, but not much. And they very much knit together when you use them together. So there's yeah. that, so you can expand your colors. And the feel, it feels, mm. you, you won't, there's no discernible feel difference when right. you knit them together. Right, it's lovely. Yeah. So yeah, so we figured we'd just put them in and we will populate kits when we can. We've got some lovely ideas for kits. Yeah. But in the meantime, go have a look. Yeah, this one, um, Josh actually told me that, pointed out that this one, um, speaking of marls, it's a special little, it's a marl of Shulmit and Shayla. Ah. Um, it's color 111 and um, yeah, Lovely. I thought that that was rather clever. Yes. So we won't yes. show you all the colors. No, but um, they're in the shop. There's, if there's a color that's not yet available, we are working on bringing in variants. They have a lot of variants. Yeah. So as our stock builds up, we will keep adding them. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Thank you so, for remembering that, Maggie. Yeah. So now we should uh, go visit with Rachel, who um, you'll be very happy to hear is getting herself organized so that you can help her out. I think she was blown away. We knew our mm -hmm. our customers and friends would yeah. come through for her. And I'm so glad that she's taken everyone's advice and set herself up. So to find out all about that, let's go to Rachel and we'll see you on the other side. Hi, Willie Thistlers. It's Rachel from Barkland Croft here in Fair Isle. And look, we have sunshine. There you go. The sheep really started to feel like spring was here and it was so much fun to watch them running and jumping in the fields. I took advantage of the good weather to take some photos of the sheep for my adopt a sheep pages on my website and of course there were quite a few outtakes as you can see.
the good weather meant that the boys could have their silage outside and enjoy it in the sunshine. And I was able to hang several loads of laundry out on the line for the first time this year. It's been great to see signs of new growth starting to appear around the aisle. And I even spotted my first daffodils and crocuses appearing. When the sun shines, the fields do look green and it's easy to think that there must be plenty of grass for the sheep. But if you look closely, it's not the case. It's mostly moss and dead grass and the actual new blades of grass coming through are still very few and far between. That's why it's still really important for me to continue feeding the sheep silage and haylage at this time of year. And as you can see, the lambs certainly like to help. Sadly, it's still only February, so the good weather didn't last. And after barely a day of rain, we were back to these conditions. The sheep are queuing up to say such a huge, huge thank you to you for all your very, very kind donations. I honestly cannot express just how grateful I am and <laughs> the sheep are to you all for your kind comments, your incredibly generous donations and just your support. Um, for this tough financially tough time that that we've been going through i never in a million years expected the response that we got from you um thank you just doesn't seem to to cover it every single penny that you've donated will go towards the care and upkeep of the sheep including humpty here I also want to thank Corinne and everyone at the Woolly Thistle so much. They have been so incredibly generous and supportive of me. You know, it's it's their podcast, their shopcast. It's it's I'm I'm just such a small small part of it. But the way they've rallied round and asked for support, I I just can't get over it. Thank you, thank you so so much. There are several ways you can help support the sheep. I have a coffee page at www.ko-fi.com forward slash Barkland Croft. This is what you'll see when you visit my page on coffee. It's Barkland Croft and there's a little bit of about me information. There's a link to my website. And here is where you can make a very small one-off donation. You can choose the amount. You can put a little message in if you want and click donate. Then there are things like little videos you can click on to watch. Just a short introduction to me, the sheep and the croft. Very kind comments from people. Some photos. There's Mungo. There's pork pie. If you click on gallery you'll see any photos that I've uploaded and I'll try and keep adding some more. And then in feed, you'll see any posts that have come from me. 
So this one here is me and Tiddlywink saying a big thank you to you all for your support so far. I then have a Patreon page at www.patreon.com forward slash Barklandcroft. So this is what you'll see if you visit my Patreon page. There's a section here that tells you a bit about me. I'm not sure why it hasn't formatted correctly. On the mobile site there's gaps between the paragraphs but not on the laptop site so sorry about that. And that has links to my coffee page and the adopt a sheet page on the website. Then you can also click on this video here for a short introduction to me, the sheep and the croft. And then these are my monthly membership tiers. So we start with the woolly wonders, the super sheep and the beautiful blossoms. The woolly wonders will get access to exclusive content. That's one longer format video per month and also be in with the chance of having a lamb named after them. Then the super sheep will get that same longer format video plus one extra slightly shorter format video that will look at a particular aspect of life here on Fair Isle and they'll also have a chance to have a lamb named after them. For the beautiful blossoms you'll get the same two exclusive content videos. You'll also be in with the chance of having a lamb named after you, but in addition to those benefits, you'll get a free copy of my Sheepgates neck warmer pattern, invitations to a quarterly live chat, a Fair Isle postcard posted from here on the aisle, and also early access to my new yarn launches. I've also set up my adopter sheep pages on my website, which is at www.bee-croft.co.uk. If you click on support on the main menu, that will then take you to the support page of my website. Here you'll find details of my Patreon account, and if you click on the link, that will take you directly there. I also have details of my coffee page and there's a button you can click to take you to the coffee site. And then information about the adopt a sheep process. You can either click on the link in this paragraph here or hover your mouse over support and then click on adopt a sheep. On this page you'll see Lavender and a baby Sir Didymus and find out all the details of the adopt -a sheep package. You can then either click on the top link to meet the sheep that are up for adoption or the bottom link to go straight to the page to purchase your adoption package. You can also hover your mouse over support and click on meet the sheep. This will then take you to the page where all the sheep for adoption are listed alphabetically. So you can scroll through and see a little portrait photo of them all. And let's say you want to find out a bit more about Seraph. Well, if you click on his photo, it brings you up a little bit of information about him and you can use the left and right arrows to scroll through the different sheep. Once you've made a note of the name of the sheep you'd like to adopt, scroll to the bottom of the page and click on the link which will take you to the shop page. The adoption pages are split into four purely because it would only let me put a maximum of 14 on each. So if you click on one of the pages, this is what you'll see. And you can scroll through the photos again with the arrow keys. Then in the drop down menu, that gives you a list of all the different sheep on that particular page. So 
So let's say we're going to look for Seraph because we want to adopt him. He's on page four. And we can find him in the menu, click on his name, and that will bring up the photo just to make sure that that's the one you want. One thing I must stress is that you can't combine an adopter sheep purchase with a purchase for knitwear or any other physical item, I'm afraid. So if you click on add to cart and then view cart, this will bring up what you have in your cart to purchase. As you can see, the website will automatically add a shipping cost, but because your adoption is a virtual package, if you go to enter a promo code and type in adopt a sheep, then you will see that that has removed the shipping costs for you. When you continue to check out, you'll be asked to fill out your details the same way as you would for any other physical purchase. So your name, address, your shipping address, and then your billing details, billing address, if that's different. Although you'll receive your photos and videos via email, I do need your shipping address so that I can send you the lock of your sheep's fleece at shearing time. From one of the biggest to the smallest there. Thank you so much. That's my hair empty. Can't eat my hair. Well, isn't that amazing? She has been rather productive mm -hmm. and getting um, adopt a sheep and Patreon and coffee. And I think she's had a lot of response already just from having those there. So thank you so much. And for that's supporting. without a lot of yes. publicizing. So, yes. Yeah. No, you guys, you guys could not wait to help her, which is just so indicative of who you are. And we really, really love you and appreciate you for helping Rachel get through some tough times there. I think you've made all the difference, which is amazing. I think too, it's just a nice way to support the work she was already doing. I know, I know. Um, yeah, I know. so I'm, I'm so glad to see that she has put those together. And yeah. um, I'm excited to sign up myself. Well, I already did. I did it last <laughs> night. I got, I got Barnacle. I'm adopting Barnacle. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was I was thrilled to be able to do that. Um and just, you know, uh enjoying what she puts out there. Um yeah. I, I'm so grateful to Rachel for sending us postcards once a month like she does yeah. and uh letting us see a glimpse into what life is really like there. So I think that's everything. Do we have anything else? I think just to remind folks that we've got free shipping at 125 right now, which is good. And keep knitting on your color work and start thinking about a shawl to yeah. knit along with us. <clears throat> yeah, I think too, start start sharing in the Facebook group and the Ravelry group about what yes. shawls you might be knitting. Or hats, yes. <clears throat> we will yes. put together some um, pattern bundle ideas um, that we'll put in the Ravelry group yep. in case you're looking for suggestions. Yep. There are so many amazing patterns there out there. There really is, yeah. So start thinking about the yarn you want to knit and where and uh, that it goes with the pattern you want to knit. So yeah, now's the time to start daydreaming. I'm yeah. going to do that for sure. Yeah, so hats, shawls, it's all good. All good, yeah. So anyway, we look forward to seeing you. We'll be back next week, all's well, hopefully. Mm -hmm. yeah, we'll be yeah. back on Friday, and we will give you a little episode that day too. And uh, yeah, so I think all that's left to say, Maggie, is if you go out, take your knitting. Bye. Bye.